that there are people that from the way that they behave, it's like animals in the shape of people. You know that weird things are going on in the world. You know that crazy people are walking in the world. And they're not human beings at all. Like Their behavior is like they can murder, they can rape, they can abuse, they can worship themselves with no end. Like You have sick, sick, sick shapes of people. And those are not really human beings, though there's not those are not really people. They don't really they're not part of, of, of us and, and, and what we do and that we try to be good people, that we try to help each other, that we care about each other. Some people they don't care about the world at all, they just care about themselves and their lusts and desires and angers and all their bad attributes. So they're not part of 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 of, of human race at all. It's so painful for a person who sins, who violates rules. He doesn't want to feel that way. A person who sins on a daily basis always go with this horrible feeling like, what do I need this life for? What do I don't want to live anymore? I don't want to be part of this world anymore. I hate myself. I hate life. I... Because he's sinning. He sees it on himself that he's not able to do what he's supposed to and what he meant to in the nature of his creation and he asks himself so what what do i need my life for if i'm sinning so that sorrow and that pain is so painful is so horrible for a person to carry that when the creator sees that he wakes up the heart of the leaders to redeem those poor people from their sorrow and from their pain and the main mercy and 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 pain that the righteous people feel and that the Creator feel for the Israeli person who sins, who violated, is on those situations when he falls off the path of holiness and purity because there he suffers the most. You suffer the most not when you lack of money or when you lack of friends or when you don't have a house. You are suffering the most when you're sinning when you know that you're not working right, when you know that you're not doing what you're supposed to do, that is the place that you feel bad with yourself. You see, how Rabbi Nachman of Breslev himself had the power and the ability and the sensitivity and the greatness to understand us, how hard it is for us to sin, how hard it is for us to violate the rules of Hashem, how hard it is on our conscience on our hearts, on our mind, to deal with the fact that we failed, that we disappointed Hashem, that we disappointed someone, that we messed up somehow. The holiness and the purity of the hearts of the holy nation of Israel is beyond words. And a leader or a person who takes himself to lead must be aware to that and to see that, to recognize that, and to love people and to do the best he can to save them out of their spiritual poverty and to help them to rise and to shine and to become human beings and not animals in the shape of human.